car sales have been at the all-time high for the past half a decade, driving competition through the roof. This turned some companies into world's leaders, while others were forced to retreat to avoid sinking under the overwhelming demands of a modern buyer. As a result, lineups of automakers are constantly going through changes, with many long-time running but poorly selling models being simply axed. In today's episode, we'll focus on those automobiles which will be saying goodbye to the dealerships in 2020 to make sure that you won't miss a chance to buy one of them. You're watching Automotive Territory Daily News. Subscribe to our channel and let's start the engines. Volkswagen Beetle The Beetle is one of the most recognizable names in the automobile industry, as it has been in the production since 1938. The most recent Beetle iteration is a small family car that sits on a VW A5 platform and was introduced for the 2012 model year. Now it is being dropped from the company's lineup worldwide, with the production schedule to end in August 2019. For its last year on the market, the model keeps its iconic looks, has more standard safety features and is equipped with a turbocharged 2.0 liter engine making 174 horses and 184 pound-feet of torque. It is available in four trims, S and SE, plus their final edition versions with exclusive retro-style exterior colors, stonewashed blue metallic and safari uni. Chrysler 300 Once one of the big three American automakers, the Chrysler brand has been struggling for quite a while now. Currently, the company's lineup consists of only three vehicles, gasoline and hybrid Pacifica minivans, plus the 300 full-size luxury sedan. In 2020, it is rumored to shrink once more, with the drop of the 300 model. Despite the troubling sales, the car is actually considered one of the best in the large sedan segment due to its extroverted exterior, plush cabin, and apt engines. Its 2019 lineup consists of five variants – Touring, Touring L, 300S, Limited, and 300C. The 3.6-liter V6 is standard on all but the top trim, but the 363-horsepower 5.7-liter Hemi V8 is also up for grabs. Chevrolet Impala Though many Impala fans were dying to see an all-new model with a back-to-the-roots feel, it actually fell victim to the massive discontinuation streak that Chevrolet has been on during the past couple of years. Though somewhat outdated on the looks, this full-size sedan is a decent all-rounder. The standard engine under the hood is a 2.5-liter that makes 197 horsepower, but the more confident 3.6-liter V6 that delivers 305 HP might be worth consideration. Three trims are on offer, LS, LT, and Premier. The upper ones have dual-zone climate control and heated leather seats. It is worth noting that for seven years in a row, Kelly Blue Book has been recognizing the Impala as the best full-size car in the annual five-year Castellon Awards, so it is indeed a good car, but its time has simply passed. Ford Fiesta After returning to the American market in 2008, the Fiesta Super Mini is being discontinued from the Ford's US lineup in response to the increasing popularity of crossovers and SUVs and unprecedented demand for pickup trucks. The model, except of the ST Hot Hatch version, is also discontinued in Australia, where it has been running continuously since 1976. While it is still in production, you can snatch the Fiesta in two body styles hatchback and sedan, and three trims, including the newly introduced sporty ST line. All of them are equipped with a 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine delivering 112 horsepower. But if you are looking for more performance, the ST modification is the way to go, featuring a 1.6-liter EcoBoost with 197 horses and an exclusive six-speed manual transmission. Chevrolet Cruze 
The 2019 model year of the Chevy Cruze receives a mid-cycle facelift, which on the outside could be noticed by the restyled front fascia, more massive grille, updated headlamps, and the new wheel design. The automobile's engine options remain the same as the last year and are limited to a 153-horsepower 1.4-liter turbo four-cylinder and a 1.6-liter turbo diesel delivering 137 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque. Unfortunately, after over 10 years and two generations on the market, this year marks the end of the production for Chevy's compact sedan and hatchback. Despite being updated, the cruise is being axed in the US, Mexico, South Korea, remaining available only in China and South America. Are any of your favorite cars being discontinued in 2020? Would you see some other models being axed instead of the presented ones? Let us know which ones those are in the comments below. Let's keep going! Buick Lacrosse and Lacrosse Avenir. The 2019 model here is also the last one for the Lacrosse sedan, which already ended production in February 2019. While there are still units left on sale, the model is available in six trims Base, Preferred, Essence, Premium, Avenir, and a new Sport Touring. The lower trims are powered by a 2.5 liter mild hybrid engine with a six speed automatic and a front wheel drive, while the top ones get a 3.6 liter V6 a 9-speed automatic and an all-wheel drive. Even in its base build, the Lacrosse has much to offer with its spacious interior, finished with synthetic leather, 8-way power-adjustable front seats and 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system. However, if you go for the luxury Avenir, premium leather upholstery with hand stitching, Bose audio system, satellite navigation and wireless charging become standard. Chevrolet Volt Despite the fact that the Volt is arguably one of the best plug-in hybrids on the market, it is being phased out nonetheless by Chevrolet, who want to focus on producing all-electric vehicles. With a range of 53 miles of emissionless driving, the Volt is extremely efficient and economical, ensuring 106 mpg. The coordinated work of two electric motors, a large 18.4 kWh battery, and a 1.5-liter direct-injected gasoline engine bring the maximum range to 420 miles. The latest upgrades also gave the Volt a new 7.2-kW charging system that replenishes the battery in 2.3 hours when paired with a 240-volt charging unit. The car's production was stopped in March 2019, so if you're shopping around for a great PHEV, we would strongly advise you to consider the Chevy Volt while it is still around. Cadillac ATS Coupe While expanding its V-Series performance sub-brand with the recent arrivals of the CT4V and CT5V, Cadillac has killed off the ATS sedan in 2018. Now it is being followed out the door by the coupe version of this model, with the production ceasing by the end of 2019. As far as compact luxury coupes go, the ATS is well equipped and is claimed by the manufacturer to possess one of the lowest weights in the segment. The base trim gets a 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder that makes 272 horsepower and delivers decent 22 and 30 city highway MPG. However, it is worth going for the 335 horsepower strong 3.6-liter V6, which is being installed on the upper modifications, since the efficiency is close, but the sound and performance are much more exciting. As for the ATSV version of the scope, well, it is all about sports performance pushing the output to 464 horses and 445 pound-feet of torque, and showing 3.8 seconds 0 to 60 and 189 miles per hour top speed. Smart EQ The Smart brand sales were far from stellar in the US and Canada, which led to the discontinuation of the gasoline variant of this microcar in 2019. After a failed attempt to popularize the all-electric version, it is now being axed as well, contributing to the final exodus of the brand from North America. Honestly speaking, this loss is not even a bit shocking, since this EV obviously could not match the expectations of the drivers. Regardless of being powered by an 80-horsepower electric motor that provides instant torque, 
0 to 60 acceleration takes 11.1 seconds, plus 80 miles per hour speed is not adequate for highway commute. The final nail in the coffin of the Smart EQ is a small 17.2 kWh battery and 58 miles of range, probably enough for short city routes in Europe, but ridiculously low for Americans. If you're planning to own one of these cars, make sure to hurry up and buy them. Plus, chances are that their prices will be going down since dealers will be trying to free up their lots for newer models. Consider watching other suggested videos on the screen. Leave your thoughts about the episode in the comment section. Like, subscribe and share. We'll see you later.